How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now it's time for another how to mine video where I show you guys how to mine certain cryptocurrencies. I help you set up a wallet, I help you set up the miner and just see that everything is going smoothly. I have made a few of these videos as well so if you are looking for a certain cryptocurrency to mine check out my channel I have made a few of these and perhaps I have made the one that you are looking for. Now also in these videos I do not go into the details about about the cryptocurrency itself. For that, you have to go watch a different video online. There should be a few videos on all the cryptocurrencies. This video is only gonna be about how to mine the cryptocurrencies. So today's video is going to be on how to mine Monero with your CPU. Now I have already made a video on how to mine it with your Nvidia GPU. So you can check out a link in the video description for that. And I will later on make a video on how to mine it with your AMD GPU. So, but today we are going to show you guys on how to mine it with your uh, AMD CPU or Intel CPU. So with all of that being said, let's get into the mining right after this. Do you live in South Africa and want to get into the crypto mining world? Well, Rebeltic is the best place to get all of your mining hardware at extremely low prices. They have a massive range of graphics cards, motherboards, and everything else you would need. So click on the link in the video description to go visit Rebeltic and start building your new mining system. Okay, so like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I have already made a tutorial on how to mine Monero with your NVIDIA graphics card. So if you want to know how to do that, you can just follow the link in the video description. I also, I'm also going to make a tutorial on how to mine with your AMD graphics card, so that will come out soon. But now we're just going to take a look at how to mine it with your CPU in this video. Now the first thing of course you are going to have to get a wallet. So there's a few different ones you can go for. Personally you can just go to CryptoCompare.com where you can select the wallets and then just change the currency up here to where is it to XMR. So that will filter all of the wallets that they've reviewed and that they also recommend. Now you can try out a few here. I personally am using the Monero free wallet just because it's nice and easy and it's on your phone, but you can go to CoinSpot. Uh, you can also use the Monero GUI, uh, Monero core, uh, core client, Monero uh, the coin payment wallet. And then I've got a few here as well. So this is the Monero uh, GUI wallet, my Monero. You can just select the one you would want. Uh, the, this one is just the easiest personally for me. So, okay, so now let's quickly take a look at the market cap for Monero. Currently, it is on the 11th spot. It has a max market cap of 5.7, almost $5.8 billion. Uh, it's currently trading at $372. It's doing quite well. It's been going up the last 24 hours. If we just quickly go into it, we'll see that it is doing quite well which is loads. So as you guys can see, it just keeps going up, up, up all the way to the last, go to the last three months. Again, just keeps going. If it, it just keeps going up. And I think Monero is going to have a great year in 2018. So this is why I'm making this video. If you want to make some money now, while it's still a bit lower, then now is the best time. So let's quickly go to... Okay, so also if you want to trade it, you can go to the market caps over here. You'll be able to see all of the different exchanges that do trade Monero. There's quite a few of them. So if you just want to check again, you can go to market, uh, coinmarketcap.com and just check for yourself. Okay, well now let's quickly go to the pool that we are going to use. And the pool that we're going to use is the nano pool uh, pool, which I personally find usually is the biggest one out there. They do have a bunch of other coins that they also mine, and I have made a bunch of videos with them. So they work pretty well. Uh, so if you want to go to the nanopool.org, all you have to do is xmr.nanopool.org. Uh, you'll be able to see how many miners there are currently, over 9,000 miners. They have over 30,000 workers that have a pool hash rate of over 68,000 kilo hashes so they're going quite strong now once you're here all you have to do is click on the help section up here and then just scroll down a bit and go to the Windows CPU Claymore miner so once you're here all you have to do is click download it's 
just going to select here. All you have to do is click on that one. It's going to start downloading for you. Uh, I'll just do that as well. You can just go back. So the thing we're going to take a look at is especially this section over here. So this is going to go into your bat file. Let's just get that out of the way. So this is if you're going to use a local wallet, which we are. But if you want to ex uh, mine directly to an exchange, you can just use this one over here. The main difference between these two is that you have to add your payment ID. So if you mine to exchange wallet, just add your payment ID over there. But otherwise, that's all you need. But I will also link my entire miner in the video description. So you guys can just take a look at that. So let's quickly open that up so that's how it looks i already have mine op open here as well so let's just quickly extract this one put it on my desktop over there and then i'll just show you guys the difference so this is the clean bat file so you'll see it looks exactly like the one we just looked at your wallet address your payment id your worker name and email so you can do that if you want to. I personally have already set up everything straight for you guys. So all you have to do over here is put in your wallet address, which is over there, your miner. And then of course, you just have to add your email address. Now at the front of the bat file, you'll see that this is going to link to the program over here, the .exe uh, program. That's going to say to the program that you have to run this is for how many uh, threads you want to use so you can change that to usually it works based on about four so then you can still use your system actually uh, this is going to link to the nano pool so the o uh, just connects straight to the nano pool over here is for your wallet address so you're just gonna replace my wallet address with yours that you got from your wallet so that's pretty straightforward copy and paste in there you can leave it like this but then you're gonna mine for me i would like that but you're not gonna get anything so just rather change that then you have a full stop you have your minor name you can change this to anything you want just to distinguish what miner is currently running so if you have multiple ones you can just one two three four five whatever you want and then finally you can just add your uh, email address you will use the email address to get notifications from nanopool and you will also need it to change your minimum or max payout so currently it's a bit high if you want to lower it a bit especially if you're mining on uh, cpu you want to lower it a bit and we're going to use that to to do it so now all you have to do is just copy your wallet address again you can close it save it up and then all you have to do is start double click on the bat file and then run now if you guys do want to create your own bat file all you have to do is right click new text document type in whatever you want so just start uh, delete the back end and just dot bat enter and there you go so there you can edit it as well uh, if you want to create your own one but uh, if it's just nor uh, still a normal .exe, all you have to do is go to View, Options, View, and make sure that the Hide extensions for known file types is unticked. If it's ticked, it's just going to be a normal text file. So just make sure of that. But otherwise, you can just run the one that you got from me. I would personally just say that. But if you don't, you can just, again, use the one that we got straight here and then just replace everything or use the one that you got from the miner that you've downloaded so as you guys can see it is currently starting up you are going to have to leave it for a bit just to catch up uh, but you can also just press s to see uh, what your speed you are getting at at the moment so you can just let it run for a bit now you can also go to the nanopool.org again you already have your address that you've copied then all you do is click up here, address or payment ID, just paste in your wallet address and then search. Once there, you'll get to this section where it's going to show your account, which is your wallet address, and it's going to show your current hash rate and all of that. 
it is going to take a while to show so as you guys can see i've already stored my miner but there's not showing anything so i'm going to give it about half an hour just for it to start mining and start catching up to the nano pool and then i'll show you guys further okay so we are back i left for a bit to run so as you guys can see it is still running here and it did pick up that i am mining so here it says i'm getting about 210 hashes a second uh, i have an unconfirmed balance of almost nothing just because i've left for only a few minutes uh, i do have a balance of 000056 so still really not a lot but you will be able to see your balance over here your unconfirmed balance before they um just pay it out after it has been confirmed it does take a while uh, but then you will also be able to see your hash rate which at the moment uh, i think it stopped and then it connected back again that's why it's zero again but you will see that it is going to be a bit lower and not always accurate compared to what you are getting over here so currently it says uh, 180 170 it ranges between that so you'll just have to see what you actually get. You can also watch the average hash rate for the last six hours. So you'll just be able to see it over there. Just some more information. Uh, you'll also be able to see a graph. If you leave it for a long period of time, you'll be able to see how it progresses. Down here, you'll be able to see the miners you are mining with. So remember in the bat file, we set it as miner one. If you have a miner two, then it'll just be down here. It'll tell you which uh, miners you have online, offline, and total. It's going to be for some reason, it, it's picking up it, that it's offline, probably because it did disconnect. You will also see your payments over here when you get paid out, the amount of shares, and then also you're able to calculate how much you are getting. This is an estimated calculation, so it's not entirely accurate. Now, when we move to the top, you'll see that we have a minimum payout of one uh, Monero coin. So if you want to change that, all you have to do is go to settings, because that is going to take a long while to get. Then you can see down here, you can set a minimum of 0 0.3 and a maximum of 10. So how you do that is you just click 0 0.3 if you want to just get 3. Currently it is at 1, but we're changing it to 0 0.3. Then you have to add in that email address that you've added. And then all you have to do is apply and then you are set. So that's pretty much it. Again, just leave it to run for quite some time. It's going to take a while for you to, uh, for Nanopool to pick up that you are getting shares and all of that. So just give it some time. Don't be too hasty. But also, like I mentioned, I will leave my entire mining folder uh, in the video description for you just to just go and download. Then all you do is right click, edit. You just change your address over here, the minor name if you want to, and then your email address, and you are pretty much set to go. Now, if it does for some reason not open or it just opens up and closes, what you can do is right click, edit, run it, and then down here, just at the next line, uh, put in pause. So that will just pause the miner and just give you a message of why it is actually uh, failing. Then all you have to do is just type that message into the comment section and one of the viewers or me myself will just help you out. But the most important thing, especially when extracting uh, the the entire battery, the entire folder, you are going to have to turn off your antivirus or your and your windows defender because those will delete your bat file and you don't want that otherwise you're gonna have to set up everything yourself again but i will also just for safety leave this entire script also in the in the video description so if for some reason that your def windows defender or antivirus deletes the bad file you can just copy this from the video description and create your own bad file again by new let's just right click new text document call it whatever you want delete the back end dot bat and then edit again and then you just paste that in so that is pretty straightforward that's all you really have to do but again, just turn off your antivirus and your Windows Defender. 
And then again, just once you're done with that, just leave it to mind for a bit. You'll see everything at xmr.nanopole.org. You'll see everything up here. And then, yeah, you can start mining and get yourself some Monero coins and make yourself a millionaire. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, now just a quick mention before I go. When mining, definitely take a look at your temperatures of your CPU because it is going to ramp up, especially if uh, you you don't really have that good of cooling. I do have a, a nice custom uh, air cooling unit on, so it does keep my system a bit cooler. And because of the threads that I put on to four, it's not really using that much load. But if you are gonna add more to the to the bat file, then it is going to speed up your computer, your CPU quite a bit. Let me just quickly do that uh, I can show you guys. Okay, so I added my threads to eight. I do have an eight core Ryzen 1800X. So it does have up to 16 threads. And currently you can already see it jump from 30% load all the way to 60%. Uh, my temperature is almost at 60 degrees. That's already a bit hot. You don't really want to go anything above 70. You want to really stay, stay below 70. So if you push too much, then you might damage your CPU. So keep your system as cool as possible. Uh, you will also see that your system is going to start to lag because your CPU is running on full 100% or 80% or whatever. So just keep a look at that. So just again, make sure that your temperatures are not too high. Uh, you can just actually download this uh, Corsair link. It should work with your CPU. It'll just pick it up. So just download this and you'll get some more information as well, which is always handy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure that your temperatures aren't too high. If you add the, your, in your bat file that it uses more threads and then you are set to go. So that's pretty much it for this video on how to mine. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. Also, if you have any suggestion for a different cryptocurrency uh, you want me to show you how to mine, just drop me a comment down in the comment section. So yeah, just drop it down there. Uh, also, if you are struggling with anything, let me know in comments down below. Uh, me or anybody else uh, who's watching this video might be able to help you. So just let me know down there. But now also, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I have made a few of these how to mine videos. So you can go check out some of my other videos if you want to learn how to mine certain cryptocurrencies because there are a bunch. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys and I will check all of you next time. Cheers guys.